Come on. Stab. 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 Slice! Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Twilight Prince HD Let's Play. We beat up a giant frog in the last episode. We had some delicious frog legs. And now, we are going to complete the Lake Bed Temple with this. Oh yeah. So, it was the hook shot in the last one. Now we got the claw shot. And it's just so much better. All right, let's go ahead and map it really quick. And that should be good. So, yeah, so in the last episode, we started the Lake Bed Temple. It's it's okay. Um, it's not my favorite dungeon in the game, but I will say for a water dungeon, it's pretty good, actually. And I'm not going to get any of those pots. I'm, right now, I'm kind of more... Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of looking for the compass. Because, like, I don't want to leave any chests behind. Oh, come on, that was about it. You know when you gotta start using the gyroscope on this freaking thing? Okay, well, actually, I, I was about to say, I need hearts. But I don't think I'm gonna get any hearts from these pots. Hmm, I can't imagine why. Mm, nope, nothing up there. Let's go ahead and just get out of here. So... This also kind of introduces another thing. Uh, when it comes to the claw shot, there are interesting puzzles, I guess, that utilize claw shot, and it's pretty cool because, like, in the um, in Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Link to the Past, Link to the Past, and um, what's it called, Link's Awakening? Link's Awakening have the yeah, yeah, right? I don't know, but. Makes dealing with these guys a lot easier. That was not gonna work. Ooh, okay. I'm losing a lot of health really fast. But, like, unlike, uh, don't unlike this video, but unlike the um, Link to Pass, Link's Awakening, I think, uh, Ocarina of Time and George Mask, those were more, those were, yeah, a hook shot that. You know, got you from point A to point B, and you know, kind of I guess hooked enemies closer to you. In this game, it's different because it's it's more. I mean, it's called the claw shot, so it's it's more. I could have just waited. It's more or less a grappling hook. Okay, well there was a grappling hook in Wind Waker. Um, also, yeah, Wind Waker had the hook shot too, but. Oh, come on. You can actually grab things and bring... Oh, okay, you could do that with a hook shot. You guys know what I'm trying to say. My leg's all itchy. Go. No. 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 Alright. Throw it. Nice. Stab you in the face. It's... Mm -hmm. it, you utilize it a lot more in this game because there actually are a lot... There's actually... Uh, hookshot puzzles So you can kind of see obviously the the medallion the gold medallion with the red center. That's a hookshot medallion P Claw shot medallion. You guys know what I mean this time around there are weighted claw shot medallions All right And you actually it's very similar to like a switch where <coughs> Excuse me Still sick, by the way. I the cold's gone, but the cough is still there. So, as I'm about to demonstrate, you use Link's body weight to uh, basically pull down the switch. It's it's almost like a reverse of um like a, just a normal normal presser switch, I guess. And we can go ahead and access one of the two heart pieces in this dungeon, I think. Yeah, just about. On top of this chandelier, if it's not replaced by a stamp, it better be a freaking heart piece. I swear, yes. Oh, I actually freaking needed that, too. I, yay, thank you. Heroes mode, how's it work? Oh yeah, uh, that must have hurt. So now, we can go ahead and here. 
So like I said in the last episode, it's more or less... Screw off. It's more or less a combination of water levels and water currents. You have to raise the water... Thankfully, I... I talked up the water temple from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it's an unpopular opinion. I, I know. But... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah. It's... It does have some stupid things to it. And one of the things is, if you're not... I guess careful. Not careful. If you're not... Mm, if you don't know what you're doing, you could raise and lower the water level in Ocarina of Time Water Temple a million and a half times. It's you, like you never know, you know, when when do you need to raise it, when do you need to lower it? You know, what do you do now that it is lowered, what do you do now that it's raised? That kind of thing. Thankfully, in this game, you only have to raise it twice, and that's it. Raise it once to get it to half full and raise it a second time to get it all the way. That's it. You don't have to worry about decreasing the water level, you know, you know, raising it up to a certain point and then making sure that, you know, you do everything you need to do before you raise it again or you'll miss out on a couple of things. No. And thankfully, you don't have to worry about any of that. There's no water level sensitive puzzles? That's a long phrase. By the way, these guys are called chew worms. They don't look like worms, and they don't look like the chew jellies. I don't know why they're called that. Okay, it's about to blow up. There you go. Oh, I'm, yeah, this is the... There you go. Now, don't be a dingus and use a bomb arrow on this thing. This is not a select type. This is actually a switch that we need to use a claw shot on. Don't hurt me! There we go. And aim it up. There we go. Uh -huh. The gyroscope... Well, okay, I guess the gyroscope works. Um, nothing beats the Wii Remote. Oh, come on now. Nothing beats the Wii Remote. That actually... That brings me to something I want to talk about. When it... Okay, two of them. Um, when it comes to the HD port of this game. And HD ports of really any Zelda game. Or just remakes in general. I will flat out tell you right now, the remake of Link's Awakening was perfect. It was perfect. In terms of a remake, perfect. I don't want to stay here for too long because I believe there are, yeah, a new enemy coming up called Skullfish, basically piranhas. And, fun fact, I'll show it off. You can actually catch them. Do I need to raise... No, I can't even reach it. You can actually catch them with your fishing rod. So, this time, it's a little... Okay. It's a little tricky this time. Because there are gaps, and guys you just gotta watch out for. And those guys, if you don't take care of them. But... Aw, oh, dang it, what was I talking about? I completely forgot now. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll come back to me. Um, oh, remakes, that's right. Link's Awakening, perfect remake. Wind Waker HD. Perfect HD port. HD improved game. I'm getting up there. Okay. Ocarina Time 3D. Here's, okay, I guess another unpopular opinion of mine. I, okay, straight up, I prefer 3D Zelda games over 2D Zelda games. I know, sue me, crucify me if you want. But I don't, I much, much, per oh, there's the compass. <laughs> and now we can know where the uh, stamps are now. Or, I guess all the chests, that could potentially be stamps. 
But when it comes to the um, 2D Zelda games, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I let go of the freaking... Okay. It doesn't matter to me, you know, if I'm playing a 2D or 3D Zelda game. Because it matters to me how I play it. One slide! Because, okay, we could, okay, I don't want to be in here, I don't want to be in here. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a fear. It's a freaking fear, bro. Like, it looks, you know, people are, like, afraid of sharks. Well, guess what? These things are basically little sharks. Watch this. I don't think you ever see these crates ever again in the game. Okay. I think, what, they put these in because they, they the developers kind of want you to uh, make you think that you can use those as, like, uh, platforms you can jump on, but obviously they get destroyed. Let's go ahead and show this off really quick. You can actually... Oh, come on. Come on. Actually do it. There we go. You can actually catch them, and I think this is freaking funny. There we go. You caught a skull fish. It looks stronger than it is. This fish is forbidden, so it won't be added to your fish journal. Which is a sh- I believe you can kill it, and it'll actually post to give you a heart. We're on Hero's Mode. Uh, I think we just gotta go for it. Uh -huh. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay. I think there's only two times we ever see Skullfish in this game. Right? Okay, 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 okay. Get off me. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, get up. Um, it's right here. And then also, um, the main area of this dungeon. That's kind of cool. The main area of this dungeon with the uh, the boss room, like at, at the in like the underneath the staircase. That's it, I think. Okay, here we go. I believe there's a red. Red. Okay. <laughs> I believe there's a red rupee down there. Or no, actually, it could be a key. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get that uh, fishing rod out of here. We don't need that in this kind of dungeon. What are you talking about? Okay. Is it key? Red ruby. Red ruby. Link, you look like a ninja. Oh god, get away from me. Oh, now we can actually fight the berries, by the way. However, be careful when you launch your claw shot at the berries. Because that's literally all you do. You sh I'll show it off like in a better... Here we go, let's, let's do it over here. So make sure you do it at, a, at the right time. If you do it right here, you, I guess, get their brain nucleus thing, whatever, and it kills them instantly. However, it, come on, if they're electrified, uh, the electricity will come down the chain and it will shock you. I believe we've got a new enemy this time. And my brother and I, we always found this one particularly cool. It's a, it's a, it's a type of Lizalfos. It's a, I believe they're called Skull Face Lizalfos. They're no different. It's literally just a decoration. They're not any stronger or anything like that. It's li okay. They might be stronger. But. We always love those guys because, I don't know, they just look so cool wearing, like, a skull armor helmet thing. Hey, another one. Two for one. Okay, I could have been smarter than that. I wanted to fall off the edge. Oh, come on. Wait, can we get him to fall off the edge like this? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. There is a chest over there. 
Let's see. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to grab it. Let's go here first. Uh, like I was saying, like with remakes, Wind Waker HD is phenomenal. But I prefer playing Wind Waker HD and Link's Awakening and all that kind of stuff on home consoles, TVs. I much prefer TV. What did I just get? I completely. I was. I was completely blanking out. Um, we need to go back that way, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, so, oh come on, oh come on. Nope, I didn't do it. I much, much prefer playing Zelda games on the big screen. And for the most part, you can play every Zelda game on the TV screen, thanks to the Game Boy Player on the GameCube. Bless the GameCube. But, there are a couple. You have no choice, as far as I know. No choice but to play them on a DS or 3DS, and that is Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, Link Twin Worlds, and the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D. Now, Link Twin Worlds is what I would say the perfect 2T, 2T? 2D Zelda game. It's perfect. What's in here? Oh gosh. Okay. I don't care about you. Chew. I don't care about you. But. Okay. I didn't need that. But I, mm, I. For some reason, I just. I don't like. Oh, I guess. I I think with chew worms, you can just. When they're in the bubble, you can just shoot a bomb arrow at it and you're, you're good. But. Uh huh. When it comes to playing on a uh, handheld, I just can't do it, and I'm going in the wrong direction anyway. I just can't do it. I, for some reason, I can't. I, I have to convince myself to like sit down and look at a small screen. <laughs> God forbid, you know, put an iPhone in my hand. But okay, where am I going? Hang on, I need to figure this out. Look at me, trying to make a case that water temples are actually not that bad. I get lost in them. Anyway. Yeah, when it comes to playing games on 2D, uh, hand- well, 2D handheld. Playing games on a handheld versus playing it on the big screen, I much, much prefer playing it on big screen. And, for me at least, that's where Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D do lose some points. Now, yeah, we got access to the boss door. We don't have the big key yet, though. There's still two more things we need to do. Really quick, I want to see... We have the compass, so... Are there any chests that we still need? Yes, we need to get that chest at the very top over there. And there's... That's the boss key, actually. That's the boss key. We already got that chest. I'm confused. Whoa, I'm confused. We need to get that chest. No chests. That's the boss key. Right? No, that could be something else. That, because that's the boss key. That's, I believe, something else. And that is the heart piece. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna really quick run around this uh, this dungeon. First, I want to go ahead and activate this. And that will allow the water to flow this way. And this will actually give us access to get that heart piece that I was talking about. Let's go ahead and grab that. Um, but when it, when it comes to remakes, yeah, I'll say that Ocarina of Time uh, 3D is really good, and Majora's Mask 3D, really, really good. However, 
I prefer, I'd prefer it, let's put it that way, if all HD remakes were like, uh, Wind Waker HD. I th ooh, okay. I think Wind Waker HD, I don't need to balance on this. I think Wind Waker HD is the perfect example of a Zelda game getting a proper, uh, hang on. Knock this guy out. Not knock him out. Draw his attention. Bam! There you go. That tech tice were coming right up on me. But um, yeah, I believe One Waker HD is a perfect example of a game getting an HD treatment the right way. Um, uh, now here's the thing. I love Twilight Princess to death and beyond. However, I do not think this is a good remake. When it comes to Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and even Skyward Sword, the first one we got was Wind Waker. Now, uh, technically the first one we got was Ocarina of Time. But I'm not gonna count those because that was more of, more or less, I guess, a gimmick of the 3DS, and uh, I guess uh, it's an anniversary kind of thing. I mean, okay, Wind Waker and um, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword—they were all, you know, 10-year anniversary uh, of their their original release. But when you know, like I said, like Wind Waker was a fantastic example of completely not reimagining the game because Link's Between Worlds is kind of like that even though that's more of a sequels-ish kind of thing Wind Waker, I would say, and Link's Awakening is also a complete reimagining done very very well but Link's Awakening is like from the ground up like it barely has anything to do with the original hang on, I just want to check my map really quick make sure I'm going in the right way Yes, I am. Um, Wind Waker, it basically, it used the original game as its roots. I guess. By the way, it, it would be here that you use the claw shot to uh, hook, uh, hook onto those vines. You can drop down and get into this uh, section down here. But like I said, it even showed it on the map. There's no chest down there. I believe it's just rupees you can get. Okay, I mean, if you need cash. But when it comes to Twilight Princess and um, Skyward Sword, I feel like those remakes are very, very lacking. Especially Skyward Sword. This, I mean, it's sharper. Kill this guy real quick. Why I put those on? The, it does look better, you know, in terms of, like, pixels and resolution, it looks way, way better. But I feel like, I mean, you know, I remember, like, everyone said that this is going to take a while. Everyone said this back when they saw the trip. I'll continue this in a second. I'll see you guys at the top. You know what I just realized? You can literally just stand on here, and it's all good. You just gotta be careful. Ooh, okay. You gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Don't knock me off or I'll freaking kill you. No. No. Put them on. Put them on. No. This is what this game is now. Not annoying in the slightest. Okay, we finally made it to the top. Good. Good lord. Why am I going up here? You. Get out of here. No. Oh, I thought Link was about to get taken off by the current. I don't want that to happen. I swear to God, I I think it's a stamp. No, I could. Be. I think it's a silver ruby, actually. I'm not sure. I got enough for it. I gotta meet Agatha to turn in some of those bugs. I need a bigger wallet. Why? Why? 
Why? Cannonball! Okay, right, now we're back here and the gears are moving, so that means we can get to that room and get the boss key and fight the boss and be done with this dungeon. Not yet. Um, I mean, like I said, when it comes to water dungeons, this one's not that bad. It's more or less over before you know. As I feel like with most dungeons. I know, okay, the next dungeon after this one, uh, I believe it's called Arbiter's Grounds. It's... No way. It's, um... Okay. Oh, get back up, get back up, get back up. Oh, ha! Alright. Let's calm down. I got a claw shot up there, I know that. There we go. Arbiter's Grounds, it is... Okay, come on. Really? It is longer. It is, I think it is the longest dungeon. Come on, you can get that. Come on. It is the longest dungeon so far. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely longer than the first three dungeons, that's for sure. And it's also my favorite dungeon in the game. Oh god. Just keep on moving, it won't hit you. Alright. Um... <laughs> But going on about Twilight Princess HD, I feel like, yeah, when people saw the original trailer to Twilight Princess HD, people were confused. They saw the, I mean, most people play the Wii version, so when they saw the trailer to the HD version, they saw, oh, you know, it's inverted, Link's left-handed, that kind of thing. And... People were curious. I just went away. People were curious, like, oh, is this like the GameCube version? Because the graphics didn't look too different. Like, you look at Wind Waker HD and Wind Waker, the original, and the graphics are significantly different. Whereas, I'm telling you right now, the graphical change between this version and the original not much is different yeah it's sharper it's cr more crisp I guess but not much has changed by the way these guys are actual enemies and they act basically like bomb shoes real bomb shoes you know, from Majora's Mask by the way these guys terrified me as a kid. I'll tell you why. In the official strategy guide to Twilight Princess, come on. In the official strategy guide to Twilight Princess, um, the when it, when the game like basically told you, like it it, it introduced all the enemies. You know, as soon every time, um, is there a one here or? No. Is there? No. Okay. Um, every time they introduced a new enemy in the game, uh, they would basically it would they would have like an enemy card, enemy name card. Uh, while it's like you know telling you the guy, and there's a freaking thing right here. I bet. Yep. And. When it came to this section, I needed the guy for this section, by the way. Getting the boss key, that's... That, I hated. Getting the boss key in this dungeon. I freaking hated doing it. Because I always got lost in this room. So it, it, it literally is a maze. Come on, swim up. Uh, there's no reason to... Wait, there's something right here, isn't there? Nope. <laughs> See, there's no reason to come into here. It's just an enemy. Um... But one one of the things was like you know it tells you that oh there's gonna be a bombable there's a there's a boulder that you can bomb and we're not coming through here yet. I believe this is the exit to the to the place we gotta go to. Where we gotta go is up here. Or okay, that's just the key. Or not not key, not the key that we're looking for. More water bombs. Woo! Where do I need to go? See, I'm 
I'm forgetting now because this room always got on my nerves because it was a freaking maze every single time. Let's see what's down here. Maybe, there's gotta be something going on with this one. There has to. Because why would an enemy just be down here? That's it. No, okay, it's gotta be up here. Right? Oh, I'm about to swim right into it. That looks like the ceiling, okay? To be fair, give me a break. It looks like the ceiling. Anyway. Like, you, you compare this this HD version to Wind Waker and it's just no comparison you know Wind Waker obviously did a way better job even Sky Skyward Sword looked like it didn't even try you know yeah it's in HD I guess but in terms of the HD remake I'm sorry yeah it looks less pixelated on the TV now on a very way a high resolution TV, it looks less pixelated. And I guess, um, you know, the motion controls with Skyward Sword and everyone knows about those. Um, the, I guess they got better with the Joy Cons and everything. By the way, this is what I mean. I. I shouldn't have done that on Heroes Mode, but I, just, I wanted to show it off. It's pretty cool, actually. Wait up for this guy. But... With a Skyward Sword, like, I'm sorry. Like... I guess it is the best, quote-unquote, best version of the game to play. But... You know... If you have the Wii, if you have the Wii version of Skyward Sword, you don't need the HD version. If you if you got a Switch, you know, and you want to you want to play all the Zelda games on like one convenient, you know, in, in one convenient place, yeah, go ahead and go for it. But just if you're expecting a remake, I'm sorry, it's not one. It's literally like it's it's like it's similar actually to the. Um, I think we, yeah, we just gotta go back the same way. It's like the, there's like, they made a thing for the GameCube where, hang on, where it basically turns all your GameCube games in, like, into HD. It's like an HDMI port for your GameCube and it turns it HD. It's basically, if you got one of them for, come on, for your Wii. And yeah, it's basically the same thing with this game too. Uh, Twelve and HD. Uh, dang it, I was supposed to do that. But uh, I, it's still, I guess, this is the definitive way of playing it. I think I prefer playing it on the Wii, actually, just because I know where everything is. Muscle memory. I played the game on the Wii a million and a half times. Um. But I guess for, like, not even controls, because I would, I would argue the Wii mode is actually better than the gyro controls. For most games, actually. Do I just need to... No, I, I gotta get locked onto that thing. Um, I'm not, I'm not trying to bash this version. It is a good version of the game. You know, it does play it in HD and everything like that. But... Like I said, I think... Um, in terms of, you know, giving Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword an HD remake, they only did it because Wind Waker did it, and they really put efforts into Wind Waker. With Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, uh, I feel like they did it just because Wind Waker did it, and they didn't, they only put like half effort in. That's, honest God, how I feel. But it's okay, it's still good, right? You know, this game's still Fantastic. We still get to see a Midna in HD, and hey, nothing's better than that, right? By the way, we are set to go for the boss of this dungeon. Ow. Thankfully, we haven't had a tap into any of our bottles yet. I'm going to go ahead and drink a red potion, because I know there's a fairy in the final room. 
uh, before the boss. There's also a chest in there, I think, too, right? Let me check real quick. Yeah, there's a chest. I believe we got every single chest other than that one. Hell yeah! Let's go. Wait, I thought there was a chest. Huh? Did I? No. I got that one. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know where it is. I know where it is. Can I? Yeah, I can't get it. I can't get it out of the water. This, I want to say, is a stamp. Yep. The letter K. All right. That was close. Almost completed the dungeon without the stamp. Now, yeah, there is that one chest in the uh, Goron Mines we haven't gotten to yet, but there's a destruction down there, right? Let's go ahead and drink that potion really quick. You don't need water bombs. Let's, catch, uh, let's go ahead and catch this fairy. I believe the fairy is in one of these pots. Yep. I want. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Now I know that if you literally just sit here for a little bit, look at Link's face. <laughs> Why is guy's mouth open? Yeah, Minna will basically just tell you. What are you doing, floating around? There's no going back now. The only thing you can do is dive. Absolutely. Alrighty, so... This boss is pretty good. It's very Shadow of the Colossus. Let's put it that way. Um, and I'll explain in a little bit about that. First phase is very reminiscent of an earlier boss in the Zelda series. Not in a good way. Twilight Aquatic Morphe Eel. Okay, I didn't know the camera would be facing me. Okay, so I believe this guy does hit hard. But we don't have to okay. We don't have to worry about that right away. Because if you if you are too close, much like Morpha Eel, no, Morpha, um he'll Midna I know how to fight this guy. He'll wrap you around with the tentacle and like fling you somewhere you don't want to be. But now he's gonna release some of these guys. Let me talk about uh my first encounter with these guys, by the way, it was when I had the guide. I started the story, but I never finished it. it. I had the guide, and the part where it was telling you about these enemies, like I said, it introduces the enemies every single time um, you, fa you face a new enemy. Okay, run away. And, um, there was only two, I thought it was three. They may have cropped it down for the HD version. I love the design of this boss. I love the music, too. I call this the claw shot track. Because it plays another time in the game. Okay, too close, too close. It plays another time in the game. And, uh... You know, you only... Okay, okay. You only have, uh, the claw shot, basically, to fight... I didn't mean to do that. I promise you I did not mean to do that. Took oh, okay, two hearts. Midnight, I know how to face this guy. I'm trying to finish my story. When it comes to the uh Oh, what are they called? The water bomb creatures. Don't suck me in. Don't suck me in. Don't suck me in. No, no, no. Yeah, iron boots. Yeah. Try suck. How? Actually how? 
I'm gonna lose a lot of freaking health. Okay, no, no more playing around. Come on, stab, 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 slice. That's freaking right. Let me finish my freaking. St Where am I? Let me finish my freaking story. You can freaking lock on this guy from miles away. When it comes to the water bomb, whatever they're called, I don't know. Uh, the guy basically said, um, here's a new area where you're going to have to bomb a boulder, but swim up to the surface as fast as you can because there's something chasing you. And then it introduced the water bomb enemy things. Uh, that little uh, section of the guide always terrified me because, like, oh my god, swim up, swim up, swim up. Because, like, like it's, it's, like, you know, like a, almost like a fear of sharks. Like, you know, you're, something's coming after you. Something you're swimming around in deep water, and something is coming after you. And you don't know what it is, and it's terrifying. I'm not afraid of sharks, but I can imagine to somebody who is that much freaking hurt. By the way, obvious, obvious Zelda uh, weak spot. I kind of want him to destroy all the pillars, by the way. I don't think he's going to... There we go. Um, the reason why this is very similar, I guess, to Shadow of the Colossus, is that he's... Okay. He sucked me in twice. But he's not actively trying to attack you. He's just swimming around. Similar to the Colossus. They're just walking around. And all you gotta do is kill them. That's it. Oh god. Now, um, there are plenty of Zelda bosses in the, uh, in the series that are like giant worm-esque things. And each one of them dies almost the exact same way. I love it. It's so satisfying every time. I love it! I love how it all just goes silent. That looks familiar. I love how Link doesn't even question it. Freaking obvious, isn't it? There it is, the last few shadow. I'll just take that, thanks. Now don't resent me for all I've put you through. I need this thing. Besides, we have to do something about Zant, the one who thinks he's the king of the shadows. His power is a false one. I'll prove it using these. So. I've done everything I need to do. And I'm sorry for dragging you all over the place with me. A little bit of a character change there, huh, Mendo? So, shall we go? An apology. Hmm. Thank you. Nice. We're gonna need more hearts. <laughs> All right. So that's gonna do it. And if you guys know exactly what happens, we're gonna jump into a pretty lengthy, I guess, cutscene. Um, speaking of lengthy, sorry for the length of some of these uh, late, later episodes. Um, I. When it comes to the, uh, the dungeons in these episodes, and for this Let's Play, I kind of want to do it in two parts. Like, from beginning all the way up to defeating the mid-boss, and then part two is literally just the item all the way up to the heart container. That's how I want to do it, and sorry if the video kind of drags on. I know we're going pretty long in this one, but I don't know. I, I feel like it, it's much more organized that way, but let me, let me know what you guys think about that. I'm going to change back into my hero clothes. Alrighty. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, okay? By the way, I know I don't, um, I didn't say this in the last episode, 
but if you like what you're watching, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you can keep up to date on this whole uh, Let's Play series. Go ahead and click the Let's Play button so you can catch up on uh, catch up and keep to date on all the episodes so far. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, good night, gamers.